You chose to become magicians because you want to do the impossible. Hello everyone. Today we have a special guest in our show. He is the number one magician in the Arab world. His name is Mayn al -Basaki. Thank you for having us, Mr. Mayn. You're welcome. I'm really glad and honored to be part of this podcast. Glad to give you guys some information. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I think most, most of the people know about your background and how did you start in the magic field. So I would like to ask you, how did the trick with Abdullah Bulkhir happened. It was it was a tricky uh, situation at that time. It was the beginning in my career, and uh, I only had one one appearance before that on TV where I did a couple of tricks which was like perceived by the audience very powerful and very nice. And usually before me, people when they used to do tricks on TV, it, it used to not be that strong. They used to be fine birthday tricks, good tricks, but they're not something that could mesmerize the audience and take them to the next level of what is possible and impossible. Obviously you have done many tricks with celebrities, okay? And uh, if I wanted to say which one of them uh, you enjoyed the most? I mean, I, I've met lots of celebrities, I mean, from Arab world or international. To me, what, what I found out after meeting the celebrities is, is not about which one was better and enjoyed, it was about how much humble they are. People, when you see a celebrity on TV, you go like, these guys might be like really tough and I can't talk to them and I, you know, it's really hard to talk to them. But when you meet them, they're like really humble. I mean, I've done, I mean, one of my, my most entertaining and interesting was, one was John Cena. I mean, I love just John Cena and whatever he does and the way that he presents himself in the inter entertainment world. See, I realize now that I can never have a match with him because he doesn't feel any pain. John Travolta the same. Oh my gosh, <laughs> wow. Fabio Cannavaro. Uh, there is one celebrity that you did a trick with and I am her huge fan her name is Muna Shaddad and she gave you a crazy reaction yeah it was I mean you know as I said I mean celebrities are just amazing to work with and do stuff with uh, why, why did you like David Copperfield? he's the grandfather of magic he's the one that made magic famous in the, in the world I wanted to homage and do one of his tricks but then in my own version of him wanting to vanish the Statue of Liberty. I went and did my trick of vanishing the Burj Khalifa. So that was something that I was wanted to do because I wanted to show that how much David Copperfield have influenced me and me performing the art of magic in the Arab world. Can you show us something? Yeah, of course. I've got two bottles. I wanted to pick one of these two bottles. Which one do you want to pick? Um, this one. That one? Yeah. Okay. So what would happen if you turn this bottle upside down? Spell. Spell, yes. Yeah. So if we do something like focusing on that bottle and I try to move my hand maybe. Wow. The water stops. And if I try
This is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth.